hey everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel um i hope this is finding you well safe healthy somewhat happy somewhat comfortable um i am going to be doing sort of a haul video today i'm just recording on my phone no fancy equipment today no camera i just didn't feel like doing all that i wanted this to be super organic um you know because i just like it that way so as you can see i'm back on my twist thing and that's just because we're stuck in the house and just doing the wash and goes if i'm laying down a lot or i'm chilling on a couch just that friction from being on the couch with the cotton was giving me a lot of single strand knots and just a lot was happening so i said let me twist up my hair and give it just a little bit of protection um and it serves its purpose. It's easy for me to get up and just go to class. And I like that. So for this particular look, I use my U High Hair Styling Cream. I talked about that in a previous video. Um, so you can check that out. I think it's like maybe like $9 for a huge bottle. So, so worth it. So anyways, let's get into um, my haul. And I don't even call this a haul. This is like four separate purchases that I've made in the last month-ish. Yeah, in the last month. So these are new products that I've acquired in the last month. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I recently got rid of like, I wanna say, I think I got rid of exactly 50 products from my stash. I sent out seven huge boxes of products, got rid of, 50 products I just needed them gone and that doesn't even include the ones that I tossed that um were just trash so my stash I wouldn't say it's small but it is definitely depleted it is definitely at the least it's been for a long time so I wouldn't say I'm replenishing that but I am seeing what works for me seeing what brands work for me and so I have been sort of focusing on those brands that I believe work for me. And if I decide to try a new brand, it's because it's something that I believe will work for me. So I'm not on this wave of just trying just to try. I am doing a lot of research on what works for my hair, what will aid in the growth of my hair. And that's what I'm making my purchasing decisions on. So let's get into it. So my first purchase um, is from Tangles and Beyond. Um, you guys know that I had actually um, sort of cleared out a few of my Tangles and Beyond antidotes during, um, I guess, my decluttering video that I had on YouTube. And the reason for me getting rid of a few of those antidotes is just because they are very, they were very, very thick and just very hard for me to get through since I don't really use that many um, butters and things like that. But Tangles and Brian products do work for me. I still kept one of my antidotes. And the reason for that is because, you know, when I do take my hair down from a protective style or I do feel like doing twists, they do work for me. So since I'm getting this twist thing, I said, well, you know, why not keep one? But I did purchase their newly released their breeze line they actually launched a breeze line a couple years back but they've relaunched it with new products and um they have these they've expanded into eight ounce size products which gives me more incentive to buy since i don't have a ton of hair and i have a ton of products 16 ounce jars are just not feasible for me if they're butters but eight ounce jars work a lot better so i got the tangles and beyond breeze C buckhorn leave-in conditioner so i am first of all i'm loving this packaging that's number one but this is hold on it's not coming out yet okay here we go so here's what that consistently looks like consistently it's a creamy oh my gosh it's a nice light creamy consistency perfect for someone like me who wants to do a wash and go it smells, I'm gonna put this in my hair, y'all. Smells really good. So that's the leave-in. Um, let me put the top back on. I also got the Breeze Julian's Oops Wash and Go Gel. Now this seems like a pretty loosey-goosey wash and go, 
um it seems like it'll have a medium hold which i like i don't like a strong hold on my gels so that's what that i don't even want to like tilt it to show you guys because it's so you see it it's just really i think it's a flaxseed based gel oh i spilled some so it's a the ingredients are yes flaxseed gel flaxseed gel aloe vera gel avocado oil organic honey yeah so that's the gel then i got the blue spiral spirulina protein treatment um protein treatments is something that i'm making sure that i'm doing once a month now to prevent shedding um and so that's the reason why i bought this product i have i think another protein treatment from tangles and beyond i either left it in st louis or i have it somewhere here but this is the blue spirulina protein treatment it's an avocado base sort of same scent as the leave-in conditioner it's a much so one thing i've noticed about the uh, the products from tangles and beyond now is that they're not as like hard so it's a definitely a more lighter and fluffier consistency so i'm loving that then i have the whipped exfoliate clean whipped exfoliate and cleanse scalp scrub um another thing i do deal with lots of scalp issues more so lately than ever i've been dealing with like just some redness and some bumps and it's been frustrating so doing scalp scrubs definitely helps with that so those are the products i got from tangles and beyond um and i know this is a while so thanks for sticking around it's quite a bit um the next haul is pretty recently i actually just got these products yesterday and these are from a brand that i've been wanting to try for a while i talked to the owner leslie all the time my middle name is leslie so here we go um and she just seems to focus really a lot on quality products that aid in the overall health of your hair this doesn't seem like something that is focusing too much on the style of your hair um and her ingredients are pretty good so i went ahead and got their three of their brand new products they have a leave-in and oil that i didn't get a chance to get but they have the coco biscuits deep conditioner again this is from coils in paradise so here is what that looks like a super thick rich consistency i mean it is really thick you guys really thick it smells good but really thick it has a cocoa butter base which i really like instead of the typical shea but i don't even think it it doesn't have any shea butter in this so really love that then we have the mango and mafura styling cream here's what that looks like again very thick very thick so this is more like a this i mean i wouldn't call it a twisting butter but it seems like a butter cream and then we got the coils in paradise clarifying cowlin shampoo bar so that's what that looks like um i love shampoo bars they're cost effective i say this all the time um and they're just worth it so I know you guys are gonna get sick of me mentioning this brand because I'm mentioning them. I've mentioned them quite a few times in the last couple of months. Um, Honey's Handmade, you guys. And I know some of y'all are looking at me like, didn't you just get the Melba's Kitchen Collection? Why do you have another haul? Um, their products are amazing. And that's just it, like they're just amazing. So when they had a sale recently for their VIP members, all you have to do to be a VIP member is to subscribe to their emails and you get exclusive access to amazing deals. And they had a sale recently of over night, like of up to 90% off. So they had like some dollar full size products, some $2 full size products, some $6 full size products of like over 50% off. So I'm like, I need to go ahead and rack up on my faves. Like this is not a joke. So, you know, if you are, you know, just a penny pincher and you like quality products, you need to be getting in on those sales. So 
on top of the Melba's Kitchen Collection, which I got like two weeks ago or something like that, and the kajillion other Honey's Handmade products I have, I went ahead and purchased five products. I think this cost me less than 40 bucks, you guys. Um, I got the Honey Twist and Define Butter. So I can open that up and show it to you because I already opened it. So that's what that looks, you can't see, because I'm, I'm on my phone, y'all. This ain't no fancy zoom in. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got the Honey Twist and Define Butter. I'm excited about this. I got the Pumpkin and Safflower Apple Butter Co-Wash. Never tried it before, but I've tried other Honey's Handmade Co-Washes. They're the bomb. I got the Peppermint Deep Penetrating Mask. This is from the original Melba's Kitchen Collection. I don't even think I got a chance to finish the one that I already have, but I just went ahead and bought another one because it was on sale. <laughs> Um, the Pink Sugar Hibiscus Plant Deep Conditioning Mask. I've been wanting to try this in full size for the longest. I have, a, I had a sample size that I just ran through. So this is my first time getting a full size. I got this. And this is my second bottle of the Black Soap Honey and Avocado Co-Wash. This co-wash is the truth. I ran through a bottle of the a bottle of this like I want to say like a year and a half ago but I ran through it in like two months because it was so good it cleanses it softens and um you know it's just the bomb so I say you know what I'm gonna go ahead and get this because I'm gonna just go ahead and get it now last but not least this is like the collection that I've been dreaming to have. I had um, a lot of Strands of Faith products before. She was nice enough to send me a few of her products last summer and I ran through those like water and I just emptied out my deep, my deep treatment. Um, and I think I wound up gifting the twisting butter because it was just, it was very thick and it was just taking me a while to like get through it. So I gave that to one of my friends, but I'm like, dang, I kind of regret that. <laughs> so I went ahead and purchased the Living My Blessed Life box. Now, let me just tell you, um, as someone who has had like the crown kit, I've done a lot of box collaborations with brands. Um, and I so I love a good box with products. Like I love a good box full of products and I know you do too. But this box, has totally outdone all of those things. I mean, like, I don't think I've seen a better box than the Living My Blessed Life box. It is incredible. Like, look how beautiful this box is. The products are not in it, they're over there. But look how just, just the care that has been put into this box. Look how beautiful this box is. I am never throwing away this box. Like, <laughs> it is just so professionally made, so durable, so much care put into the design of the box. Like, it's just beautiful. I just can't picture myself throwing it out. But here's what came in it. What came in it is even better than the box itself. So first things first, when you open the box, you get this. This is a mustard seed. Now Strands of Faith is a Christian based hair care company and they are very out about their faith, hence their name, Strands of Faith. But they leave this beautiful mustard seed inside of the box to be a reminder that all you need is faith the size of a mustard seed and you can move mountains. So the products, the, the Strands of Faith box comes with 10 products. So first you have, hold on, my bracelet is on me somewhere. You get this beautiful little bracelet, living my blessed life. I have it on already. You also get a detangling, a wide tooth detangling comb. You get a infinity spray bottle, which I'm glad because I actually left my spray bottle in St. Louis for my plants. You get a microfiber hair towel in the Strands of Faith brand colors. Um, and then these are the products that you receive. So 
I received the Holy Grail collection, their conditioning refresher spray. Love this. I used this last summer to its very last drop. The leave-in conditioner, also love that. The stimulating sealing oil, love that. Um, the moisturizing cream in a 12 ounce jar, which I'm excited for. I probably should have gotten this instead of the butter last year, but you know, I, I love the consistency of this product. Oh my God. Oh, and the scent, amazing. An eight ounce jar of their deep treatment. I don't even have to say nothing about that. Y'all know how I feel about that product. Um, and eight ounce twisting butter. So I feel a lot more comfortable having an eight ounce jar of this. I feel like I'm, I can get through that. Um, three in one miracle clay wash. This is one of their newly released products. It's relatively new and I'm excited to try this. And then I have the shampoo bar. So the only products from the Strands of Faith collection that is missing from the Living My Blessed Life box is their co-wash and um, their curling, the custard, the styling custard that they have. But everything else from the collection is inside of this. And I love that. I love, they kind of replaced the custard with the three-in-one clay wash from last year's Living My Blessed Life box. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with having a shampoo instead of a co-wash. This gives you a complete wash day. And, you know, Strands of Faith is just one of those brands, you guys. Like, Amika Coleman, she's incredible. Her hair is incredible. She grew it out from nothing, you guys. This is not like one of those genetics things where it's like, okay, you always had long hair. No, she did not always have long hair. She grew her hair. And so her products are, the proof is in the pudding, y'all. So that's my haul for the last month. I am probably going to chill. I always say I'm going to chill, but I'm probably going to chill because y'all know I need to save all my pennies, saving up for utilities, making sure I'm helping out around the house. So products are going to kind of be put on hold till I guess when this blows over. And now that Hue Affair is up in the air, it's like, I don't know when my next haul is going to be because I only buy things when they're on sale. Um, so yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Again, hope you guys are well. I'll be praying for you all. Um, and just rest in God's peace. Bye.